five. So you're like, I'm Wee. following your lead. Okay. Okay, got it. It'll tell me in two seconds when we're live. Here we are. Oh, it's already recording. How All fun. right. Okay, nice. <laughs> so it's frozen though. Let's see what's happening. Is it frozen? It's just pausing. Okay, we're live now. All right. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hi. <laughs> okay, so hi, I'm Reverend Wendy Silvers, and this is the Awakened Mother podcast. It is weekly dialogues with leading edge spiritual teachers, visionaries, moms, dads, all in dedication to bringing forth truth and bringing forth empowerment, bringing forth innovation and creativity and spiritual truth to support you in, in, in thriving and also thriving with your, with your children. So um, welcome Welcome to this uh, particular episode. I'm I'm so thrilled and honored and excited for today. I have um, with me in the studio. I have Emma Natolo, who is the founder of a magnificent product called Awake Your Inner Body. It is a product. It is a community. It is a practice, and she's also. Um, she's also a mama and a wife. She has a, a toddler and she is a visionary. And there is going to be this beautiful event on August 8th, which is Lionsgate in Malibu at the Rafi Lounge. And it's going to be dedicated to the reclamation and the embodiment of the, the inner wisdom of the woman, which is, you know, the power of a woman. We were talking about this on Instagram. Power of a woman is the navel, the womb. So I want to share with you, Emma, <clears throat> so you can learn more about her and what brought her to do this. So let me tell you a little bit about her. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to slow down here for a minute. Slow my roll. Emma has been a health and wellness advocate and nature lover for years. She moved to California in 2018 to shift her energy and reconnect with herself and nature. She was then introduced to new rituals that made her mind, body, and soul feel more connected. Prior to moving to California, Emma was living in New York, uh, New York City, and was working as a fitness trainer and wellness coach. She co-founded in 2016 Bond Body, the first wireless EMS electronic muscle stimulator boutique gym in the United States. Emma is a French Canadian from Montreal. She is a wife and mom to an active toddler, and she is the founder of Awake Your Inner Body, and she is also um, the organizer and creator of this beautiful gathering that will happen on Monday, August 8th. So welcome. Welcome, Emma. Thank you, Wendy. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Yeah. I would, I, I'm so interested in uh, your, your history, right? Your history becomes what moves you to uh, create something like Awake Your Inner Body. And when I hear about the, um, your, your past as a fitness trainer and a, and a wellness coach and, and the founder of Bond Body, what, what led you to that? Well, so as you said, I'm French Canadian, I'm from Montreal. So um, I completed my studies um, in finance and marketing in Montreal. And um, I just felt to move to New York City. Um, one of my best friend moved to New York as an investment banker. And I graduated finance, so I just felt like New York City is a great city for that. So I worked in finance and accounting, marketing for about a year and just felt like I needed to reshift my energy towards something that I felt more connected to. Mm -hmm. um, at that time, it was really working out. Um, there was so many different boutique gym in the city of New York. Um, I've tried like pretty much every classes from Barry's boot camp, SLT, hot yoga, like every kind of yoga. Um, so I really started to connect with that. 
And this is when I started the electronic muscle stimulation. Um, it was pretty new at the time. So for those of, for those of you who are not so familiar, it's those little um, machine. I worked with the Compex machine um, and you can put it like on your abs, on your glutes. And I created a workout as soon as I got my uh, personal training um, certification. Um, so it was a group workout. It was a 30 minute class that it it is the equivalent of a 90 minute workout. So people in New York, um, everyone's busy. The, the flow of life is so fast. So um, not everyone has time for an hour workout and then you get super sweaty. So this really gives you the opportunity to get a killer workout in a very small amount of time. Um, so that was when I was living in New York, but again, it was a fast pace. Mm -hmm. um, early 20s so you know it's the <laughs> life of a party there's so much going on so I went on a road trip with one of my best friends so we drove the coast beautiful mm. California from San Francisco to San Diego totally fell in love with California so I decided to move and when I moved to California this is where I met my husband um and then not too long after um I got we got married and I got pregnant and this is when everything happened. When I got pregnant, it was really like a, a rebirth, right? I really understood what it was to be a woman. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. um, I was actually planning a home birth. Um, yeah. So I actually experienced full labor um, at my home, dilated till 10 centimeter until the midwife arrived. So after that, I was like, wow, like every single woman, every single mother go through this. Like this is this is something, you know, you don't really know what it is, or, you know, you hear all those stories, or those yeah. birth stories. Some of, some of my friends were like, I'm not going to tell you, I want you to have a child. Right. Um, so when I experienced that, that's really <laughs> what pushed me to um, start awake your inner body to mm -hmm. honor the womb, to honor mothers. We really are the creators of this earth. There mm -hmm. is four children born every second there's over two billion mothers on this planet so we are the creators and i wanted to honor women and bring this product that i was introduced to which is the sacred wand it's a feminine wand it, it can be used in many ways but the ways that i used it before i got pregnant i used it for wound cleansing i used it to balance my ph and help for tightening and healing after birth um, so Awake Your Inner Body, um, this is the first product that we have. But when I was pregnant, I just realized how important everything that we put in our body, it goes directly to our child, right? So all my, all my smoothies and all my teas and all my health rituals, I start incorporating sea moss, spir spirulina, turmeric, and really, really diving into more of everything that I put in my body or even on my skin goes directly to me and my child. So after I gave birth, um, I was not growing life inside of me, but now I'm a mom. So I wanted to still take good care of myself. Um, so this is really what pushed me to start Awake Your Inner Body, to mm -hmm. honor women, to give them, to, to, to introduce them to this product. I did not invent this product. This product is 2000 years old. That's what they would use. That's what the royal cucumbines of the king would use thousands of years ago to nurture their sexual organs um, before um, before there was medication and before this, right. this right. came about. Um, yeah. So this is a really natural and holistic way to care for your body. Um, it can be inserted internally, which can help, as I said, help with balancing the pH, helps with infection, UTIs, discharge odors. It can also help regulating the menstrual cycle. It helps with menopause symptoms, helps with healing, helps with tightening, it helps with lubrication. Um, yet we don't really talk about all these subjects and all this stuff that women go through. Um, so this is why I created this platform. Um, so we can get women together. We can have those conversation. We have this panel coming up. Um, on August 8th, this is the second panel that we are having. We yeah. had the first one a couple months ago yes. when it was moderating it. And here she is back again. Um, <laughs> and we'll be starting with a womb meditation, which I'm really excited with amazing performer. Um, it's really going to be magical. 
really, really excited for that. It it's going to be so beautiful. <laughs> and so, so all of you that are uh, listening, whether, you know, whether you thought about it or not, Monday is calling your name. The, the Lionsgate come together on Lionsgate is calling your name. And I'm going to make sure that you have the link to, uh, to join us um, because it will really allow for that. Um, you know, when there's a portal, right, there's, there's, you know, we, we are spiritual beings having a human life experience. And so even though we think, you know, we're, our egos want to tell us that, you know, we're all this physical, we're really such, you know, energetic beings. And so what you're offering, um, what you've created with this event and what you've created with uh, Awake Your Inner Body with the wand is this opportunity to align or align with the energies, align with that inner wisdom that's encoded within you. And as I, I was listening to you speak, I also birthed my daughter at home, fully, you know, unmedicated. And I was the same way, you know, <laughs> I, you know, with whatever went into my body before and after, because I was, you know, I breastfed, uh, I breastfed my daughter until she was three. So I really identify, and I think about the, the saying by Osho, that when a child is born, a mother is born also. Mm -hmm. And there is that, that rebirth that happens. And there's also that opportunity as, as you know, we raise our children to raise our, re-raise ourselves and to heal mm -hmm. any of the places uh, within us that might be unresolved from our childhood. So, um, and it, and it, as you have demonstrated, the creative energy gets enlivened and activated. And so here you are with this amazing, you know, this amazing gathering, this amazing product. And uh, I know that you and Joey uh, do a lot of work with uh, Kogi and with the indigenous. And um, can you speak to um, the evolution of that for you um, in your yeah. life? So um, I've been going, I've been traveling with my husband and my son. We've been to Colombia now four times. Um, the first time we went, we went to Costa Rica, and this is where the Kogi tribe baptized my son. Um, and we've been going, a, we've been going a couple of times. The last time that we went, we actually brought um, a group of 25 people with us on a retreat in the mountains of Colombia to mm. really connect the indigenous wisdom, to connect, connect with their knowledge, to understand that we now live in a world that where there's, you know, the technology and all the noise and everything, but they really, you know, their belief system is really to keep it simple, to go back to origin, connect to yourself, connect to mother nature, um, how I see this is really like the indigenous are our future and our children are our future. And this is why it's, for me, it's really important when I bring my son with me and um, I've been talking with some of the women that came with us to on this retreat and we want to create summer camps for children to learn and connect with elders and get to experience this wisdom and mix with yoga and meditation um, we are planning our second Kogi Living School. It's going to be in November. We're going to be announcing um, announcing the, the second retreat really soon. So we're really excited. Um, again, we're going to take a small group. Maybe Wendy, you, you can join us. Would love wow, that. And amazing. anyone that would feel um, that feel calls to connect with these um, indigenous tribe, I I, I invite um, people to to stay tuned and look into this information. Um, the Kogis are, are a remote indigenous tribe. Um, so what happened is that um, when, when the mother is pregnant, um, the mamos, um, when, the, when the baby is in the womb, um, they, they can feel if the baby is gonna be a mamo, and then when he is born, they keep the baby in, um, uh, in a cave for nine years um, so they can really reach like pure consciousness. Um, this is not all of them, but certain mamos, it can be nine to 18 years. Um, that's, that's, that's something. <laughs> that is something. I, yeah. I, I forgot about that detail until you mentioned that. That would be so, 
what can you, you know, imagine carrying, you know, your baby and being so connected to your baby and then turning them over and having them live in a cave. I mean, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's such a different, uh, it's such a different uh, vibration and it's such a different awareness. Mm -hmm. And from what I understand, um, the Kogis are a lot of, and actually a lot of the indigenous in uh, Central America, they're untouched um, mm -hmm. relatively by uh, the technology and the multinational corporations. Although, you know, I've heard um, in the rainforest that uh, I know that I have um, a colleague who does a lot of work in the rainforest and it's, it's being, I mean, it's being ravaged, the heart and the lungs of, of the world. Are, are being ravaged by greed and uh, modern technology interference. So mm -hmm. it's wonderful that you're doing that. And it's wonderful to give children the opportunity to return, to return to, to nature, to really have that opportunity mm -hmm. to get on the ground. And it, it, it's just so wonderful to do that. Yeah. Also, a portion of the proceeds from Awake Body goes to the McCallum Foundation, who are supporting um, different indigenous tribe, who we are supporting the Amazon, the lungs of the planet to restore, to awaken, to, to really support Mother Earth, which is wow. what you mm -hmm. Years ago, uh, when I first um, birthed the Million Mamas movement, or it came through me, um, birthed came through me, um, I remember being told that the Maasai, that a, a, a question that the Maasai ask and when they greet each other are, are how are the women and the children? That's the standard for the well being of society. And circling back to Awake Your Inner Body and this event, this gathering on Monday night, you know, when we come together in a united state of consciousness, when, you know, we are holding literally, you know, we hold the seeds and then we, we literally hold, you know, the world, the world in, in our, in our hearts and our hands. And, uh, I'm really looking forward to, to Monday night and, uh, and to, and also to watching, you know, watching what you're going to do next, watch, watching you as, um, this young woman, um, who's really, uh, embodying, her her divine wisdom so uh so one of the questions i i'm i'm interested in asking you about is you were you were is your family interested in any of this was this something that you felt um compelled to do like something inside of you yoga and working, you know, being with the indigenous and, and this product, would, would you say that you're the only one in your family? Or do you feel like you have a legacy? Like, is that part of your ancestral lineage? Um, I mean, I feel like this kind of like, it just like happened, and it just like got created. Um, you know, my, my husband went through um, a pretty major awakening. Um, mm -hmm. And he, he has like communication with the Kogi um, through telepathy. So this is kind of how it all started um, when he started communicating with us, with them. Um, mm -hmm. And then we were called to meet with the Kogi. And then since then um, it's like, we're, we're like a big family now. And um, I feel like a lot of, this is kind of the beginning of the journey, right? This is like the second panel. This is just the first retreat we've created, but I feel everything is growing. And um, building this community is really important, um, creating this energy, creating this safe space, creating this, this place where we can learn and grow. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like it's, it, it might be part of our lineage, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, there's a, there's a, there's a spiritual teaching um, mm -hmm. that when you, when you heal yourself, when you go within, and you address any unresolved issues and you evolve mm -hmm. um, vibrationally, spiritually, you heal seven generations behind and seven mm -hmm. generations in front. So mm -hmm. you are, you're doing this for your, mm -hmm. for your lineage. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, the women on the panel are so um, fascinating and powerful. You, you, I mean, we've got great grandmother, Mary Lyons. We've, you know, we've got Krishna Carr. I love that we have the elders mm -hmm. that are, that are holding it down. We've got soulful publicist. We have Tatiana, the trap witch. We have Barbie doll. We have, you know, Elizabeth. We have so many different expressions mm -hmm. of, of the, of the feminine walk mm -hmm. of, of that. And so I really appreciate how you've curated all of us. Yeah, every 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 woman on the panel is very, like everyone has their own story and there's so much wisdom to learn from each one of them. So I'm really excited um, for what they're gonna share. And I feel like this panel is going to be happening quarterly. Um, we're also starting a podcast, so it's really to, get the voices together and be able to share our stories and just elevate ourselves together and create a change and uplift each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So necessary. I mean, really when we, when we think about indigenous culture, which is the wisdom is beyond description mm -hmm. and so invaluable. Like I just cherish that. We've been gathering in circles. We, the women have been gathering in circles since the beginning of time. So to witness the, the expansion of these circles where we are coming together and Monday night is a circle, it's a circle and the energy ripples out. So um, thank you. Thank you, Emma, for, Thank you, for, yeah, <laughs> for catching that and for being willing to uh, create a product that's ancient wisdom, 2000 years old. Yeah. And, and the elements, you yeah. said the biodynamic, the bio, you know, the, they're organic, they're, there's yeah. nothing toxic. There's nothing that would harm a woman, you know, using the wand inside of her. I mean, it's just so beautiful. And let's keep talking about what happens below the belly button. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, I think it's so important to connect with mother nature and to take care of mother nature because yeah. she grows everywhere on the planet, so many different plants and medicinal plants and every, like it's a gift from mother nature. And yet we have human human beings not taking care of our planet. And it's so important to go towards a more holistic approach and mm. really connect to mother nature and embrace mother nature, take care of her. Yes, I absolutely agree with you. And we are the living expressions of her. You know, we're in relationship, mm -hmm. everything, you know, everything is a relationship and what you're what your product and what this beautiful gathering speaks to is the interconnectedness of all. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so thank you. Thank you for all that you're doing. Thank you for your vision and your innovation, your creativity, your depth, and your commitment to supporting the expressions of the divine and the woman. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the yeah. divine feminine will be in the house on monday august 8th in malibu at the raffi lounge <laughs> That's right awesome and i will make sure everyone that you have the link to join us and there's also what's exciting too is that unify is going to be live streaming so you will have access to the first half hour live um with with us on on monday and again that's that is Monday, August 8th, it's Lionsgate. It is a powerful portal. Um, and, uh, and then the following um, Friday, there's gonna be the entire event and there's gonna be wonderful music. And, and, uh, and so Emma will be, will be introducing and speaking and, and I will be um, holding down, you know, the panel vibration and leading a womb meditation, which I'm just so, honored and we have these incredible musicians. Can you speak before we close, uh, will you speak to the musicians that are gonna be- uh, Yeah, of course. So yeah. we have Scarlett Rivera, uh, mm -hmm. who will be playing the world peace violin. 
Um, she's just amazing. <laughs> we will have Snow Raven of Olox, um, Nacho Arumani, who will be doing some sound healing, um, and Deepak, who will be performing, singing. He's a, he plays the guitar, the violin. So every, every single one of them are so, so talented. And yeah. they have performed together before and it was truly magical so mm -hmm. they will be performing in the background while wendy will be leading the guided meditation yes. so yes, yes. ah beautiful beautiful honoring honoring the mother honoring the the divine feminine honoring the the next seven generations mm -hmm. and uh, awake your inner body yes thank you so much thank emma you, yeah thank my pleasure so Okay. All right. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Okay. Bye.